Hello. Last week there was a blockage in our main sewer pipe. Now, all the wastewater in our house uses the sewer pipe. So, water from the dishwasher, the washing machine, the shower, the sinks, and of course the toilets run through this sewer pipe. Hopefully, by the time you see this devotion, a plumber has come to remove the blockage. But in the meantime, we've not been able to use any water. So why am I diverting the flow of the rainwater downpipes? Well, obviously, we can decide not to use water in the house until the sewer pipe is cleared. But we have no control over the rain. And I need to redirect the downpipes so rainwater does not back up the sewer pipe and flood the lower part of our house. That would be a disaster. As we know then, homes require constant upkeep and maintenance. It's the same with our discipleship. The New Testament says that our bodies are like temples. God dwells in us. And we cannot neglect our discipleship just as we cannot neglect our homes. We cannot choose to live in ways that dishonour God with our bodies or our lives and expect to have no problems. One of the most famous verses in the Bible, Romans chapter 12 verse 1 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. To offer our bodies as living sacrifices is just another way of saying, don't stop the daily upkeep and maintenance of your lives. See, the Lord calls us to attend constantly to our discipleship. And how do we do this? Well, Romans 12 reminds us to exercise the gifts God has given us, so we serve him. Romans 12 tells us to be devoted to one another in love, so we honour one another. Romans 12 commands us to pray for others, even those who cause us pain and hassle. We bless people. Romans 12 says we must not seek revenge. We commit everything to God. These are very practical ways that we maintain our discipleship, that we preserve the dignity of our bodies, the dwelling place of God in us. And we do this each day. May the Lord encourage you each day as you let Jesus complete his daily maintenance in your life. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are a God of all grace and goodness and that you fill us with your very self and you call us to live lives of holiness. Help us, Lord, we pray, each day to seek you and to let you work in us and through us, that we will be people of dignity and integrity 
that our discipleship, our love for Jesus would shine through. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you know the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, this day. Thank you.